Hey folks, my name is Jürgen, my channel's name is Nerd and Proud of It. I'm really happy Destiny brought you to this channel again to watch this video of mine. A warm welcome, I hope you are well, I hope uh, all your loved ones are well. And before we start out, I would like to ask you a little favor. I would like to ask you, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment let me know what you think about it that would help me along in the algorithm and hopefully help me grow this channel which would be really awesome so i would really appreciate that so let's get into it today we're going to look at a reserved list buy of two cards that were really high on my list one of them on the left you see here is force field i am really really into force field i just recently discovered because of videos of other content creators that he's actually holding a piece of the Mox Jet here in the artwork. But Force Build is one of those cards I somehow never got. And yeah, uh, that was always high on my list. And the other one, as you saw, is the Lion's Eye Diamond, which I think is getting more and more expensive recently. So I thought, hey, let's get one while they are still available and uh, obtainable when it comes to price. I am a little worried about the Lion's Eye Diamond. Uh, that's why you see the jeweler's loop here. Um, and I am going to look at that one a little closer because I think uh, this one has the potential to be fake, which would be very disappointing because I paid a lot of money for that card. But I know who I bought it from and I actually bought it from a shop. So I would be very surprised if it is fake. I, I can't imagine. But let's have a look at the... Um, force field first what I'm trying to do here with the flashlight uh, and uh, yeah getting it out of the sleeve um, is to show you that this one actually has a roller line and I never have seen a roller line in person I think all my old uh, high-end cards are free of roller lines or I just haven't spotted them yet but I have to have to have a closer look because I didn't know that was really a thing and I think this one here is really hard to see yeah you can see it a little bit starting here but you have to hold it into the light exactly at the right angle to see that there's a roller line but this one I checked it before, same as the Lion's Eye Diamond. So I'm looking at the cards in uh, in a um, inner sleeve, in an inner sleeve, uh, at this moment. But I check the cards before, and always, always take out the cards of all uh, sleeves um, and examine them, feel them, um, wash your hands, whatever. That's what I normally do. That's why I keep them in here because uh, I wash my hands before I really uh, handle high-end cards. But if you wanna be absolutely sure of the look and feel you have to get them out of the sleeves as you have seen that force field looked pretty good uh, let's have a look uh, yeah, yeah the backside of course at uh, some scratches here and there and as i said the roller lines but overall front looked very good uh, back looked uh, okay um, i did the light test and i did a couple of other other tests i'm gonna try to repeat one or two of those tests uh, in the video which might be a bit difficult especially with the jewelers loop but uh, I, i'm gonna try but i'm looking at the lion's eye diamond and yeah it's it's looking good it's feeling authentic and um i was a bit surprised because it's really really minty uh it looks like it's fresh out of the pack which is uh, awesome of course but that got me a bit suspicious as well especially when i did this um yeah i i of course as with the force field as well get them out of the sleeve do this check but look at the sides look if there's no in inking and i don't expect that with lion's eye diamond but with the force field i had a look here that's what got me a bit worried if you look at both cards next to each other and it's a bit difficult to see with the shiny uh, sleeve i'm gonna try to get them a bit closer to the camera you see the lion's eye diamond looks much brighter than the force field uh, it looks much cleaner of course because the force field is the older card but it looks more shiny it looks it looks different it doesn't feel different it doesn't handle different so yeah it's has the same uh, feeling when I bend it Let's get it out of the sleeve as well, because you have to have a look. It has the same texture uh, as a normal magic card. It's uh, 
yeah, looking very clean if you look at it and very real if you look at it by, it's by itself. But if you l put it next to another magic card, then it looks so much more shiny. So I was a bit concerned about that. So what I did is I got out my jeweler's loop. You see that one here uh, lying next to the cards. And I, of course, did the light test. It passes the light test. I'm gonna, I, I have done a couple of light tests. I mean, you turn around the card, you look at the magic logo at the back side of the card, you put a flashlight to the front of the card, and you should be able to see part of the artwork and you should be able to see the text shining through the card. And if it's really dark, you can see like a green, a green, a green glow green center of the card green niche it's not really green it's a bit uh, yeah once you've seen it you recognize it but what i did as well i put i, I got out my jeweler's loop and this one i specifically bought to check cards uh, if you don't have one and you want to buy one i would advise you to buy a higher magnification i can see everything fine with this one as you will see but I would advise you to get at least like an 1820 times magnification. So let's have a look. Um, what you're looking at is the green dot in the back of the magic card. And in that green dot, I'm going to try to focus because I'm going to look or I am looking through the jeweler's loop with my with my iPhone. Uh, yeah, but sorry, a bit blurry. But what you see, I'm going to try to put a put an arrow here when editing what you see is a little red l and that is made up of four red dots so yes look out for that this is uh, very difficult to replicate so that's uh, a pretty good sign the card is real the little red l is uh, you just have seen it uh, and it's upside down so it's four dots on the or three dots on the left and one dot to the right so it's an upside down l uh, just to make sure if you turn the card around of course you see a normal L but uh, yes uh, I think it was was pretty well visible at least I hope uh, so get your jeweler's loop uh, make sure you get one with uh, a light because that helps uh, I can switch on the light on that one a little more magnification makes it a little easier to see. Uh, so I would now, if I uh, I have experienced this one, and if I would buy one now, I would buy a higher magnification, as I said. Um, and uh, what mine has as well is a UV light. And that comes in handy as well, because uh, next to the normal light test, shine through, next to the L, next to the look and feel, general look and feel, uh, a little, um, yeah, bend the card a little. I wouldn't do a real heavy bend test, especially not with the old cards definitely wouldn't do that with the uh, force field here uh, that that will crack uh, the cards getting older the cards are getting more uh, stiff so that won't work but um, the UV light um, or black light uh, helps as well um, because the magic cards more or less like reflect black light a bit I'm gonna have a look at that as well with the small black light I got here I need to buy a bigger one uh, because it's very difficult to see, but it's a good indication. So the front of the card should be reflecting the black light a bit. It should be a bit shiny, especially on the white areas, but also on the area of the uh, of the artwork itself. And on the back light, the blue stuff, uh, the 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 ink of the or the ink the, the printed blue circle around the magic logo should be lighting up as well a bit so we're gonna have a look at that okay here you see the back of the card you see like the circle the deck master the magic logo itself more of like more more reflect more or less reflects uh, the black light and if you look at the front of the card it does that as well and on the lion's eye diamond uh, not only on the force field but on the lion's eye diamond it's pretty uh, reflective too which is a good sign so I believe my lion's eye diamond is real. But then the question arises, why um, is it so, um, of course, so different uh, to my force field? I think it's a question of age. I think the force field simply uh, has been laying in the sun, uh, being played on tables, uh, definitely has some wear and tear here. 
And the Lion's Eye Diamond is more or less fresh out of a booster, so it's very, very smooth, uh, very good condition. And um, yeah, I uh, I am very convinced that it's uh, it's a real magic card, and it would surprise me because I bought it from a shop, and I trust that shop. Like I said before, uh, that's why I pay higher prices. I normally go there, I check out the card myself. At the moment, I have to order them, but if I don't like something, I can send the card back. They even replace the card if I have a doubt about grading. And you pay a premium price for certain cards, but in my opinion, it's worth it. So yes, I'm very happy I could add these cards to my collection. As always, let's have a conversation about the price. I think uh, for these two cards, uh, it's about the right time to buy. The force field has gone up, uh, but you still can snatch a couple of force fields here and there for a reasonable price. Lion's Eye Diamond is on the move as well, I believe. For both of these cards, I paid 750 bucks. So I think, and to divide it, it's about 450 for the force field and 300 for the Lion's Eye Diamond, which I think... Um, is a fair price at the moment, a uh, little higher price than you uh, might save a couple of uh, euros or uh, dollars, uh, whatever you pay in which country you are. If you look around, if, if you buy from pers personal, if you buy from private uh, sellers, but in the end, um, if you buy at a shop, I think you're looking at about three to 400 for Lion's Eye Diamond and 450 to 600 for Force Field at the moment. Maybe even more depending on the condition, but that force field, this force field here is in good condition, but uh, yeah, I would say mild play, uh, which is uh, fine for me. I'm happy I have it. It's uh, definitely one I have been looking for for quite a while now, so yes. For whoever made it to this part of the video, a little preview of my next videos, I have something pretty special for you. Pretty special means I got drunk in the weekend and I ordered a bunch of old cards. <laughs> uh, happens, I uh, drink whiskey from time to time, I like whiskey, and uh, I had a little bit too much. And where others are thinking of stupid things, um, I uh, thought of uh, magic cards when I got drunk. So my wife uh, probably, she isn't too happy with magic cards in general, but uh, when it comes to these kind of things, I think it's better to think of magic cards when you get drunk than of uh, other stupid things. So um, I was uh, I was ordering uh, old cards and I honestly, I can look it up, of course because I got the order confirmation, but I honestly can't really remember what exactly I ordered. So it's gonna be a little bit of surprise for me as well, but it was quite a significant amount and I don't believe it contains any reserve list cards, but it's just old cards in general. So uh, yes, uh, look forward to that one, but the cards haven't come in yet. So um, yeah, I'm waiting for these uh, to, to arrive and then I can record the video probably might have to split it in uh, a couple of videos, maybe two or three, because it's really a lot of cards. Uh, yeah, um, moral of the story, don't drink whiskey, kids, when you are in uh, the mood for ordering magic cards. <laughs> um, all right, folks. Please remember to subscribe if you aren't subscribed yet. Please leave me a comment. Let me think, uh, let me think, let me know what you think about the video. Let me uh, know uh, by a thumbs up if you are not willing to leave a comment or you don't have time, that helps a lot as well. I wish you a great week. I hope you enjoyed um, this video. And in the meanwhile, as always, stay healthy, stay frosty. Bye folks.